today's episode of the Britannia TV. My name is Bridget. Today we'll be talking about a really interesting topic, love and business. Joining me is Emmanuel Awalale. Hi Emmanuel. Hi, thank you for having me. Thank you. Emmanuel has been into business a couple of times and is currently working on some stuff. Working on something. <laughs> okay, so um, today I will be running you through sentiments of sentiments that happen during business. Yeah. Okay, so first, love. A number of people are in relationships right now. A number of people are married. A number of people are in, I don't know, relationship in general, and they're making some mistakes, and it's affecting their business. They have changed their business name a number of times. You do not. You do not start a business and because you're in a relationship with Ebuka or Taiwo, you then say your business name is Bridget Taiwo or Bridget Ebuka. You don't do that. Except you both are partners in the business. You don't do that. Even if you guys are 100% committed to each other, even if you guys have 20,000 kids, you don't do that. You don't, you don't, you don't have a business name with your it's your lover's business name you don't do that so yeah. something else is you have a friend you are um, you guys are really close you you're like the besties or you're I don't know what kind of relationship you guys have you guys are not married you guys are both female you guys are both male except you guys are going into a form of partnership except it's a partnership you do not name the business after both your names it doesn't work that way it doesn't happen that that is a sentiment that should be debunked. So yeah. So a lot of people, especially inexperienced entrepreneurs, think mm -hmm. that growth is linear. Because they go, it's gonna go from step one to step two to step three. That never happens. That never, never happens. You know, never been most <laughs> times. Unless you're really fortunate. So a lot of people think they're gonna have a lot of customers, like, oh, I've done my forecast. I'm gonna have like a million customers in like six months. I'm gonna be the next Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's really, really far from the truth. So an assumption and like an uh, idea of the market. Sure. I was talking to you before we started recording. I was saying if it was left to me, there's some designs that won't be in this store. There's some colors that won't be in this store because it will be about me and I don't wear those kind of things and I don't like those kind of colors. But I know that I'm running the business for a whole lot of other people so I have to make sure that the colors are the colors work with everyone's um, works with everyone's preference uh, the designs are what everyone else wants and not just me so I think a lot of people need to take themselves away from the business like reduce how much sentiments they have about what they think or like you, you were saying before, luxury, someone thinks, oh, I'm a luxurious person and I just assume that I should start a luxurious brand. It doesn't always work that way. You need to intentionally do a survey and research on your market. So if, if you're trying to start a business and you're like a lot into luxury, you should not assume that everyone else just automatically would like a luxurious brand. Do your research, know who your audiences are and you flow from there. In my own experience, a lot of people are very subjective when it comes to business. You fall in love with the idea. It's like a mother having an ugly child. They would never ever say that child is ugly. Even though society agrees. <laughs> Even though society believes so based on societal standards of beauty. So I guess that uh, more entrepreneurs need to be uh, objective about the market and not just believe because it would work that is a good idea. Most of the time, I see entrepreneurs make wrong assumptions about the market because of their love affair with their business idea. Okay. Yeah, so I'd like to speak about the environmental factors that people often get wrong. Uh, a lot of the time, people have the cognitive bias based on their prior experiences in life. And uh, they just think, oh, the environment might be enabling for that business to thrive. Often, uh, more times than not, they are wrong. I mean, not they may be wrong, they are wrong. <laughs> so, um, first of all, you have to look at a lot of things. The political environment, the legal system, you know, coming from 
an industry where we're highly regulated, you should know about regulation and know whether it would affect the outcome of your business. Sure. You might come to Nigeria and want to start up, say, a finance company. And unfortunately, you cannot because the environment will not let you based on your concept and idea. And lastly, money making. You know, that that's, that's like, in the last few years, I've had a whole, like, a large number of people who are starting businesses say, um, that business is making money. <laughs> oh, can I make money from that business? Uh, like, if that is your sentiment, trust me, there's no need. Don't bother. Like, no. There's, there's no money there. <laughs> like, forget about it. Like, because, of course, we all want to make money. I think I want to make money. <laughs> we all want to make money. That shouldn't be like the only driving force because at the end of the day, it reduces your level of creativity, it reduces your enthusiasm, you're no longer optimistic about the business when it's not going great. So like, money making shouldn't be your only priority. So I would like to add, you know, a lot of people, uh, they have the assumption that the end goal of doing a business is to make money. Uh, but the main goal to do a business is to create and deliver value. They forget when, about value. Exactly, value creation and yeah. value delivery. True. So when you get caught up in the whole, I gotta make money, I wanna make money, mm -hmm. you often find yourself caught in corners. And it's not really sustainable because whenever you're going into business, it's a long term mm -hmm. thing. Just imagine, think of money as, okay, just the byproduct. Yeah, that's of it. delivering service. Yeah. So rather than good service. Good service yes. yeah. Rather than thinking about what you can get, think about what you can get. Hmm. Good. Running a business, you you really need to be deliberate about running your businesses. I've said we, we've talked about like too many topics like over the month. Today we've talked about a number of assumptions. You need to deliberately look at the business you're getting yourself into and if you're already in a business you need to reshuffle and place yourself in the right position be sure that you're doing it for value adding and not just for money making yeah. please make money as well but yeah you get what i mean and we've come to the end of this vlog thank you so much for joining in please like share and leave your beautiful comments if you haven't subscribed please subscribe turn on your notification bell please i'm begging you and thank you manuel for joining me my pleasure lots of love